In this video, we're going to take a look at the target texture property available in your cameras. This is a pro-only feature. Right. In the documentation, you might recognize it as a render target. Mm -hmm. Now, in a nutshell, what is this going to do for us, Lee? Well, basically, a render target is a, an area of memory where a camera is rendering out the scene. A render target isn't necessarily what you see in your game. It's just a texture where that camera has rendered its information. You can then take that texture, apply it to a material, and then take that material and apply it to something else. And it will actually show what that camera was rendering. See, I love how you get these like really technical descriptions of everything. And I can say, well, it's a way that we can take a camera and show what it sees on another object. <laughs> And that's awesome. I love that. So here's how we're going to set this up. First off, I'm going to make a brand new camera off over here by itself. Uh, let's see. Create camera. Now, a camera by default has an audio listener. We're going to have to remove that because we already have an audio listener. And if we don't, Unity will get a little upset with us. I also don't particularly need a GUI layer. I mean, we could leave it if we wanted to, but I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to drop the flare layer as well, even though, again, we don't really have to. Now, this camera is positioned kind of right here in front of us, really, but rather than worry about trying to get that position by moving, rotating it, and scaling it, I'm just going to, let's flip around a little bit. I will aim us kind of back across our campsite like this, and now that I'm satisfied with the view, I'll make sure I have this new camera selected, and let's go under Assets, I'm sorry, under Game Object, and choose Align with View, and that will snap this camera directly to this rotation and orientation, or position and orientation, I think is what I tried to say. Now let's rename this camera. I'm gonna hit F2 and call this Security Camera. Not Gamera, but Camera. Now, we need to create a render target, a target texture that can be used along with this camera. So let's come over here to our project, and I'm gonna make a folder to stick this in. So. Let's go ahead and name this, we'll press F2, and this will be Render Textures, though I doubt we'd ever really want to have multiples of these. Now if we go back under Create, we can make a brand new render texture, like so. And its size is 256 by 256. Controlling this resolution will affect performance. So <laughs> if things are slowing down while you're playing with this, uh, consider adjusting the texture, the uh, texture size here. Pull it down even further. Now, just creating the texture is not enough because you can't assign a texture directly to an object. You can only do it by, uh, by way of a material. So we're going to make a brand new material as well. Once again, I'm going to make a new folder first. And I'll pull it out of that original folder. Let's press F2 and name this Materials. And we'll go to Create and we'll make a brand new material. I'll press F2 and name the new material. We'll call this Render Target matte like so now here inside its texture we're just going to take our new render texture and drag this up like so and that's really all there is to it now we just need to get this assigned to an object now that's the big thing how do we want to do this what i'm going to do is create a plane and here's our plane and it's a little bit big so let's scale it down and i'll rotate it Let's just try rotating. I think an X will do. And if I'm wrong, then the view will just be upside down, and I'll just have to rotate it to accommodate. But that should work. And we'll just kind of aim it over here. I'll move it closer to the back of the cliff, like so. Now, we're going to take our render target material that we've put together, and I'll just drag and drop it on top of that plane. We're doing good so far. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take my security camera... Like so, and here we have our target texture. I'm going to take our new render texture, which I should name this too, because I've been so good so far. This should be my render target text. God, it's a long name. So uh, now let's take our security camera, and I'll just drag this texture right over here. And we are upside down. We can see that right now. So we'll just grab our little plane here, and I'll spin it around in its y-axis. So now it's right side up. Now, I did leave this as a perfect square because our texture is a perfect square. If we wanted to make this rectangular, we'd want to make sure that uh, our texture had the same aspect, but that could be a little bit tricky in and of itself. We don't really want to mess with that. So I'm just going to leave this as a nice square. Now, let's just hit play. See what we get. If we take a look, 
we can see the fire behind us. We can also see our little capsule kind of peeking out around it. Now let's do a couple of things real quick, just because we can. Now, what would I have to do if I wanted this material to be kind of self-illuminated? Well, you'd have to change the shader. So you can go ahead and drop down the self-illuminated, and you can go to vertex lit to make it simple. Oh, okay. And that does brighten it up nicely, so it's a lot easier to see. Mm -hmm. Now let's do something a little bit fancy, and this kind of ties back to some of the other discussions that we've had. I'm going to grab my security camera, and we could start culling out things that we don't want to see. So for instance, we could say that this particular camera can't see the campsite layer, and let's just see how that plays. Oh, it's still actually going to draw it. Well, your select, do you have it uh, culled? I'm not sure if we do or not. Oh, was I playing when I did it? No, it is cold. All right. Is our camp still? Is it still layer? in that layer? That's a really good question. No, it's not. No, it's See not. There. So there you go. So now let's go ahead and make sure we assign this. Yes to all the children. There it goes. And it immediately snapped it away. So now that camera can't see the camp, but we can see the camp. So that's a quick way to show that off. Also, check it out. We're getting the little infinite effect, too, <laughs> because the, the target can now see itself, which is awesome, by the way. So now let's go back to our security camera. And we're going to set that back because I really don't want to call that out. I just wanted to point out that we can change all of these settings that we've discussed up to this point, and the results will be apparent here inside this camera. I mean, if it could see too far away, we could pull back on its clipping plane and start making adjustments uh, in that way if we wanted. But that's pretty much it. Uh, we've now created a nice little security camera. We could even animate the camera if we really wanted to, kind of make it pan back and forth. But I'll leave that up to you to play with. In any event, um, I've done all the talking in this video. Lee, was there anything you wanted to throw in? No, you did a good job. Uh, and I, I, sh I hope I did, because really it was Lee who taught me how to set this up. So uh, all credit really goes to him. But uh, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot for watching.